We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Into the box is the leadoff hitter Cameron Mabin, and we are ready for baseball. First offering on its way. This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Stepping into the box, Kevin Biggio. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And now pitch on the way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Leak is sort of a curious case as a starter. Usually doesn't walk many guys, but at times he ends up giving up his share of hits. The translation on that is that he throws a lot of strikes, but oftentimes they are hittable strikes. One of the keys, Matt, you'll have to watch from this guy. At, at times he kind of tiptoes, he tap dances around the strike zone. He has good stuff, but when he falls behind in the count, he tends to nibble a little bit. And then when he brings the ball into the strike zone, and when he does, he becomes much more predictable. And what happens with that? The hits per nine innings tend to go up. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into center field, line drive base hit. That is four. The third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger, as it's grounded sharply to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Digging in now, Tim LoCastro. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For the Diamondback, the center fielder, Tim LoCastro. Now here's the pitch. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. High in the air out to center field. Mabin is there. He's got it one away. Settling in now, Starling Marte, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here's the pitch. Count one and oh. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. At the ball. 2 0. Hit hard to the right, but foul. The 2 1. Rounded softly down the line toward first. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Standing in now, Cattell Marte. He grounds it sharply to third. Seeger fields it cleanly, and that's the second out. Now to the plate, David Peralta. The designated hitter, David Peralta. Here comes the first pitch. Well hit to right. But a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. 
A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. Peralta is a very well-regarded defensive outfielder. It used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage, but of course these days there are many more advanced ways that help determine a guy's work in the field, and in his case, he shines in many ways. He chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Travis Shaw. Travis Shaw. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit hard on the ground to the right. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So one away here with the bases empty, and that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First offering on its way. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Locastro is there, two gone. So bases are empty. Here with two gone. And into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Now here it comes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Riding in, Wyatt Matheson. He set to lead off the home Four half of the second. The third baseman. First pitch coming. Here it is. Too low. One and zero. Oh. Hit on the ground to third. There is Seeger. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other. One away. Sliding into the box to DeMauro Vargas. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit hard to short. Throw gets him. Two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. Fly ball out toward left center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the ball set for the start of the inning. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so. It's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Hit back up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now with the plate, Reese McGuire. Protected. Number 10. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's Cameron Maben now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Locastro is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. On the ground to third. Seeger has it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Up next for Arizona, Carson Kelly. Kelly. 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So striding in, Tim LoCastro. He flew out in his last at bat. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. Owen won the count. Now here it comes. A ball and a strike. LeCastro, a 27-year-old. It's a versatile player defensively, normally a second baseman, but he's actually patrolling the outfield in this one. A ball and two strikes now. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Swing and a miss got him reaching. McGuire goes to get it and the throw to first ends the inning. Next to bat for Toronto, Kevin Biggio. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Kevin Biggio. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Now batting. The foot foul. So now to the plate. Lourdes Guriel. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. One for one after a single his first time up. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. To one and two now. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now batting, Kyle Seeger. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. And, and the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Digging in for his second at bat, Starling Marte. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. First delivery to him on the way. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Hit in the air to shallow center. Mabin comes on now and he has it one down. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Behind 0-2 now. One run, just one hit. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The one-two. Drives it out to deep right center field. Hernandez is in pursuit around first he's digging for second and that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here it's a ground rule double 
To the plate now, David Peralta. On the run is Hernandez. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Ready now, Wyatt Matheson. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. A ball and a strike now. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Locastro has it, and it's a quick out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. The bouncer to the left side. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now that. Riding in once again, Bo Bichette. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit on the ground out to short. Ahmed fields it cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and standing in is the switch hitting second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. First delivery to him on the way. Little chopper back to the mound. And that's the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. To short. Right to him. On to first and very quickly two are gone in the home fifth. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring up Eduardo Escobar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Liner towards second. But well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. Here's the first pitch to him. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone and be successful doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Locastro will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Digging in to try it again. Reese McGuire. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Took a little off and it's in for a called strike one. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Locastro is there now and he has it. Two gone. Coming to the plate now, Cameron Mabin. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Now the pitch. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. 0-2 oh the count to Mabin now. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. And a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Digging in, Carson Kelly. He'll be the first to swing it here in the Arizona sixth inning. Here it comes. 
Keller. No balls and a strike to count. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball. One ball, two strikes to count. Hit weakly back to the mound. The tag and he is out. Ready for another chance, Tim LoCastro. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. 1-1. One, one. one out, nobody on. This is line to left. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Ready once again, Starling Marte. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. This one's down to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Seventh inning ready to roll, and digging in is the outfielder, Kevin Biggio starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally first delivery to him on the way starts him out with a cutter and he gets him to swing through at one strike what a performance so far throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So one away now in the Toronto seventh, and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. Up next to the Blue Jays, the third baseman, Kyle. Into the box, Kyle Seeger. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. No hits to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Good waste pitch, one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. And right into the shift. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. We join for the traditional double bit of threat. Last half of the seventh here, and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Patel Marte. The left fielder, Patel Marte. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. There's a breaking ball that he didn't quite get on top of. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Under it is Maven now as he pulls it in for the first out. 
So stepping in, David Peralta, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Peralta. First pitch on its way. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. And the pitch. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. One and two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. Throw gets him. Two down. Into the box. Wyatt Matheson. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air and deep to left center field. Racing back the left fielder. And it's gone. The batter number 15. Second baseman. Hilton Harbaugh. Vargas. At the plate now, Hildemaro Vargas. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Coming in is Hernandez, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. Now that is not In now, Nick yeah. Ahmed. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Hernandez will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Oh one. Here's the pitch. Lined hard toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The batter, the designated hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Into the box now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As he rips it on the ground to second. To second for one. On to first. And that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. now Digging in once again. Bo Bichette. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. Here comes the first pitch. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Locastro is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Eduardo Escobar standing in. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. The first baseman, Eduardo Escobar. First offering on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And that's the first out of the inning. Into the box now. Carson Kelly. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Now a change up here to start things out. But that will dip a bit too low. And it's 1-0. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. now Coming to the plate now, Tim LaCastro. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. Popped up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Weak grounder down the line at third. 
But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Hits are now even at four apiece. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up the outfielder to Oscar Hernandez. Archie Bradley comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 25, Archie Bradley. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. Reined in. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now at the plate, Reese McGuire. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Now the pitch. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. the left field line in deep and this will wind up a foul ball the 0 1 pitch fastball just misses that's ball one the win would be Mike Leakes if our current score holds up and he takes a cold strike two. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hard liner to center field. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. On to first and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Arizona Diamondbacks.